folks today i'd like to take a casual peek into my goodie haul report for the third week of january 2011 today is wednesday january 19th and i gotta apologize for not posting a uh, recent uh, goodie haul report a uh, couple things have been going on and i'll get into it uh, in a little bit but uh first up i want to go ahead and uh, get started with the goodie hauls and uh, we have here a Batman Detective Comics uh, number 871. And uh, this comic is uh, one that me and Gerhawk were talking about uh, a few weeks back. Uh, we were talking comics and uh, he mentioned uh, Detective Comics here, 871. Uh, it was a good place to jump back into reading uh, Detective. And... I could not find 871 anywhere, uh, either uh, the original or the second printing, and uh, at the time I think 872 was coming out, and uh, just finding it is just a pain. Uh, I couldn't find it in any of the comic shops in my area, and I found this one just uh, this uh, past weekend at a uh, Vacaville uh, comic shop. Uh, we were th in Vacaville to do some shopping. And I dropped by the comic store and found uh, this issue here, which is really cool. So uh, I'm able to get started. I already have 872, so but I'll be able to get started to reading 871 here. And uh, as I mentioned, we were in Vacaville uh, doing a little bit of shopping, and they have uh, some uh, outlet stores, uh, a lot of them actually, in, in Vacaville. And. <laughs> I did uh, get this here, and this is a pair of chucks, or a half a pair of chuck, chucks. And uh, I wear high tops. I've been wearing high tops uh, for the past 30 years, but surprisingly, I've never owned a pair of Chuck Taylors. <laughs> and uh, uh, at the, there was a, a Converse uh, store, outlet store, and over there, and. Uh, uh, me and the family uh, were in there and we all uh, decided to get a pair of Converse uh, shoes. <laughs> and as I said, I've never owned a pair of Chuck Taylor, so this is my first pair of uh, Chucks right here. Kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I, I'm not sure even why I did this one. But uh, to get back on to the goodies. Um, I, I didn't get too many goodies out of these past couple weeks. That's one of the reasons why I hadn't posted a, a goodie haul report uh, recently. But uh, in the past couple weeks, uh, I've been uh, seeing a lot of clearance items for the after Christmas uh, and New Year's specials. And I was able to find this guy here. And this is a SpongeBob pillow and throw here combination set. And he's kind of neat he's got a piece of velcro for him to hold on to the throw and I found this guy at Walmart for five bucks and I'm a big Spongebob fan so very happy to see this uh, for only five dollars so that's kind of neat on there and also at Walmart I did find a couple other items on clearance uh, here I found a clone trooper uh, both a uh, Revenge of the Sith and a uh, Clone Wars uh, clone trooper uh, for five dollars as well. And Munchkin number two has the uh, Clone Wars uh, or Attack of the Clones. I'm sorry, uh, clone trooper, and I got the Revenge of the Sith clone trooper here. And at a uh, Toys R Us, I was able to find uh, this guy here and uh, you may have seen my sighting video of all of those Marvel Legends 2 packs that I found at a Citrus Heights uh, Toys R Us and uh, I was able to find uh, this guy here the variant uh, Deadpool and Warpath and uh, this was the final set that I needed to get all of the uh, Marvel Legends 2 packs and uh, very happy to get it. There was just this one here amongst the entire uh, pile of two packs. Uh, 
mostly of the Valkyrie and Hulk, but uh, there were a smattering of other uh, two packs, but only one of this one, and this one was at the top shelf, and I had to get a uh, sales associate to get a ladder to get this down for me. Uh, but very happy to get uh, this here, and uh, quite surprised uh, at how well this uh, version of Deadpool is. Uh, well, I'm not that a big uh, Deadpool fan, but uh, seeing this guy, this blue variant one in the packaging, that is uh, rather impressive. Uh, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. But uh, got uh, paid thirty-five dollars for this set, though. Yeah, because the other sets I picked up earlier on, there were about twenty-four dollars, twenty-five dollars, uh, and uh, they went up to thirty dollars, and now they're up to thirty-five. So. I'm kind of glad I was able to get the other ones early on, and this was the only one where I paid 35 bucks for. So, but uh, I got this one here, and I also found that a Toys R Us. Uh, this here, uh, DC Universe uh, Battle of Wills, I think it's called. Um, doesn't say here. I thought it was called the Battle of Wills. But, uh, or maybe it's Will versus Fear, I'm not sure. Uh, but, uh, oh, the glare on that's pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, this is the Hal Jordan Thals, uh, Sinestro set. And actually, this is not for me. I didn't pick this up for me. This was, uh, for a friend. And, uh, but I just wanted to show this thing off. This, uh, I think this is actually a pretty impressive set. Uh, especially with the constructs here. And you got the green constructs. And the yellow constructs there. It's kind of cool. And you got the uh, metallic uh, Hal Jordan here. And I guess a proper sized uh, Sinestro figure there. So that's kind of cool. And I, I do like the lantern here. The green and yellow lantern. And uh, this set was also $35. In there. And at Target uh, they had a whole bunch of uh, sales uh, going on. Uh, clearance sales and I was able to pick up uh, this guy here uh, this is the Cad Bane and IG-86 set uh, for 374 on there and uh, I was also able to pick up uh, a few of the Hero Factory sets the new Hero Factory sets uh, we have here Evo 2.0 we have Stormer 2.0, and uh, I did pick up a Breeze 2.0, and uh, I actually wasn't um, planning to get these guys anytime soon, but I was watching some uh, videos on YouTube uh, on the the next, uh, I guess, 2.0 versions of the Hero Factory figures. And they are actually quite different than the uh, first release, uh, Hero Factory. And uh, these, uh, at least these uh, Hero sets now have, uh, I guess, elbow and knee joints, which is really, really nice. And uh, I guess the armor is uh, different from the uh, first release Hero Factory. So I decided to go ahead and pick these guys up. I picked up three for now to take a peek at see how these guys are turn out uh, but from what I've seen on YouTube uh, they're uh, pretty neat and I, I'm starting to think that maybe the uh, first release of Hero Factory is more of a transition because a lot of the, the parts were from uh, Bionicle and uh, but uh, these have even less uh, Bionicle parts at least for the heroes uh, and they've got some uh, interesting joints on there it's very neat uh, a lot more poseable than the previous ones uh, but I got these, uh, I believe they're $7.99 each on there. And, uh, whoops. I did uh, find a whole bunch of DC Universe Infinite Heroes on clearance. I was able to find a Blue Beetle uh, figure there. And a uh, Red Arrow figure. And... A Guy Gardner figure, uh, all for a dollar seventy-three. Well, well Gar Guy Gardner is he's, he's a cent uh, more important. Uh, he's a dollar seventy-four. <laughs> but uh, 
kind of glad to see these on clearance uh, because uh, at six seven dollars uh, I wasn't too enthusiastic about picking these guys up uh, but at a dollar seventy three and a dollar seventy four certainly uh, a, a great uh, pickup uh, but uh, these are pretty neat uh, these are the only uh, unique uh, characters I could find uh, I couldn't find any of the other uh, figures here that are on this list on there and as I mentioned uh, I didn't post a goodie haul recently and one was because uh, I didn't pick up too much but another reason why I didn't pick up uh, or didn't do a goodie haul reports because I, a lot of my free time has actually been spent uh, doing other things and uh, one of those uh, things is uh, DC Universe here as you can see I, I did some DC Universe Infinite Heroes and now I have this guy here as a DC Universe Batman and uh, this is a I guess it hangs off to your monitor <laughs> and I found this guy at a, um, a Fry's Electronics for $6.99 but more importantly what I picked up at Fry's uh, last week was this guy here. Uh, you know, oh, right here. This right there. And this is the DC Universe Online. Yeah, I've been spending uh, quite a bit uh, time playing DC Universe Online, uh, the massively multiplayer online role playing game. And. Uh, <laughs> This is the collector's edition here uh, yeah, that I got for a cool uh, $100. I'm not sure uh, if that price was justified, but uh, it does come with uh, a DC Direct statue of Batman. Pretty neat. And some uh, online exclusive uh, items, but I see some more detail on the figure there. It's actually uh, kind of neat. I like the the figure the statue sorry not figure but uh, yeah I've been spending a lot of time playing uh, DC Universe Online I, I'm currently uh, on uh, the public enemy server uh, which is a PvP server and uh, I'm playing a hero uh, at the moment named uh, Neurokinetic <laughs> Neural Kinetic sorry uh, but yeah, I, uh, hopefully I'll be able to spend more time doing videos. A lot of the videos I've been posting other than the sighting and uh, haul videos uh, were already filmed in advance and posted, just posted uh, when I can. And, but hopefully I'll be able to spend more time creating more videos so I'll be able to post uh, those uh, more often. Uh, but uh, this is my uh, casual peek into my goodie haul report for the third week of uh, January of 2011. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.